guys and um, welcome to this year's uh, second last day um, I'm gonna wait a little bit and see who tunes in because I promised that this one uh, we would talk a bit about the year that have been and a little bit about the year there is to come <laughs> So, you guys, how have your year been? Like, if you, if you take a look back to all the things sleepy had, well, you never call Richard. <laughs> so, um, if you take a look back to the year that have been, and look through all the things you've been through <laughs> I was actually just at home <laughs> um, yeah look at all the things you've been through and look at all the feelings that you have had look at all the places you have been um, We come to realize how far we came. We come to realize where we are now. And if I look at myself where I was a year ago, <laughs> I was actually in sort of kind of a chaos inside. Um, I think it's the same for all of us. Not so good, sorry to say. Oh, yes. So, um... It is like every year, some things are always repeating itself. We will always meet energies that will challenge us. <laughs> we will always uh, meet energies that will affect us in one way or another. So the trick is to learn how to deal with it. The trick is to grow within the way that we, we meet these energies. And if I look a year back, if I look a year back and look at um, how I was handling the same energies last year, which have been represented again this year, I came far. I came far within myself. I learned to um, still allow the emotions but not take them as deep as I did before. I now know that I am not my emotions. I now know that I am the love and the light inside of me. And it doesn't matter how far out of me I am. I, I will always be what I am. So let me just read what you guys wrote. Mm. Ronald, I love you too. And Richard, I love you too. And I'm gonna see you exactly when I'm back in Holland. We're gonna do some crazy workout. Uh, Dietleu, not so good, I'm sorry to say. Well, it has probably been a journey. And the journey is far from over. So, last year for many people was really this year of the in between waking up to the new energies not really understanding and met a lot of old patterns and standing on the bridge way to jump in and out and i call this the second second um, wave and for those who was on that this year have been quite hard and it has been quite hard in in many forms um, but it's only preparations to the time there is to come you're fighting teacher yet <laughs> Uh, hey dear, I hope you have a splendid 2018 with a lot of love. A lot of love. Uh, back to you, Peter. <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. I do have a question about reality. Anya, bring it on. Let me hear your question. Cool. Um, so... Yeah, the year the gig went for many people, they have been looking at it from a practical point of view. They have 
been looking at the matrix we came from and where we actually wish to move. Oh, not only within ourselves, but for many people also in the surroundings. And it has been a year of um, becoming more conscious about what we are and what the purpose are in life. It doesn't matter if you are spiritual or you are more down to earth. We have all been feeling it in one form or another. The year that is to come. <laughs> I love this. Let's put the psychic stuff on. Um, okay, so the frequency have been rising like crazy the last three years and we've been feeling this wave in different forms. All of us have been affected by it, not all of us have understand it always. Sometimes it feels like one big illusion, <laughs> stepping out of one illusion straight into another. So the year that is to come is still continuing in this wave of energy rising. Uh, for those who have been fighting themselves a lot, uh, will probably continue fighting themselves a bit in the start of the year. Because in order of stepping into this new vibration on earth, you need to surrender into your heart, you need to surrender into your true being. And as long as you are in a state of resistance, you will keep feeling this. Many people will be like, well, if it's lighter on the planet, why do I feel heavier? And it's, it's literally because Let's call it physic. So when the light are rising on rising inside of you, all the heavy stuff uh, comes to the surface. So if you choose to not deal with the heavy stuff, you will suppress it. And if you suppress it, it will persist. It will stay within you. It's the same thing year after year. So the best thing we can do is when these hard things comes to the surface is allowing them and look at it. And some of you might say, but I thought I did this already. I went through so much last year. Why does it keep repeating itself? Um, the thing is, we are human beings on earth and there's so many in energies and so many influences. Um, and we cannot walk through life without being influenced by something. But what we can do is learn to shift perspective. What we can do is learn to deal with it differently. So some of these heavy energies we met three years ago, we met two years ago, we met last year, we meet again this year. The difference is how we perceive it, how we work with it. This year I did not feel heavy at all. I don't feel heavy at all. I feel so light um, all the time. <laughs> But it doesn't mean that I haven't been meeting heavy stuff. It doesn't mean that it haven't been hard and emotionally it has been the roller coaster of my life the last month. So it is not because I'm not pre pre being presented for the energies. It's only the way that I perceive it is different. I don't take it in the same. And I love it. I don't see it as pain anymore. I see it as experience. So for many people, the start of the next year will be all about getting closer to yourself, all about going through these still suppressed <laughs> uh, vibration in ourselves, and truly surrender to our hearts, truly surrender to our true desires. Uh, so that will be sort of kind of the start of the year. So there will be a lot of energy waves and um, spring, summer. <laughs> of course, the, um, like the sun, the energy will rise. We will feel more light. And those who make this jump, make the step, will be ready to adjust themselves a bit. Um, yeah. When I look into what the main focus should be, it really is to realize what we are. Seek deep inside of ourselves. And we, we've been using a couple of years of, of disattaching from each other. This is me, 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 you know? <laughs> so transformation deep inside of ourself is now to realize to become actually one inside of you means that you one with everybody. For everything to be about you and your borders, your lines, what is good for you, what's not good for you. In the end, the whole meaning behind it is when 
you are true to the self that you are here to create. You are free within you to love everybody purely. You are free within yourself to become one with all there is. So this whole um, killing the ego <laughs> part that we have been talking about for so long, it's about becoming aligned with yourself. It's about respecting yourself, respecting your borders, enough to, for you to have the energy that belongs within you. And when you have that, you have the ability, you have the extra energy to look out. And look at your brothers, look at your sisters, and be the example that they need in order of getting deep inside of themselves. The main goal with becoming one with you is that we can become one with all there is. So, I promise to answer these questions. I'm just gonna look one more time. I always talk so much. Sorry. <laughs> um, Rose, Happy New Year to you as well. And, uh, and yeah, okay. People say that I am not living in reality. In my perspective, past is story and future is not existing, existing yet. So only now is real. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. The past is, is, as you say, history. And the present is all that is real. The future is possible outcomes. Because we can think and we can imagine and we can look at possible outcomes. But because everything is energy and we live in the time of creation, the possible outcome can change. It is variation. So... <laughs> to look in the future can be good in order of finding out where you want to go, but it can also be the backside of the middle because people worry too much about the future. And when we worry too much about the future, painting by the past, we forget to being in the present moment. And if we are not in the present moment, how much are we actually living? So, yes, the only thing that is real is now. And for people talking about realities, we all <laughs> live in the same reality or the same illusion. Sorry. That means that my reality is not similar to yours because we have different perspective. People are painted by the past, they're painted by the ego or they're painted by the college they sent here to have, the way that they sent here to perceive life. We were never meant to see life the same way because then what outcome will it be? We will just be the same person. We're sent here to see and perceive life differently. So there is nothing that's real. <laughs> but what we can agree on is that we all stand here to fulfill our own purpose. We all stand here to feel what feels right inside of our hearts. We cannot judge one or another for the reality that we feel or we perceive because it's not ours, it's simply theirs. What we can do is we can accept it and we can be the example for the way that we perceive life. There's so many different uh, consciousness levels on earth in this moment, so for those who perceive uh, the, the world, um, for example, don't believe in spiritual things, and for those who have been out of their body for 25 years and just landed, <laughs> Um, the world perspective are so differently. We can't expect those two to understand each other. But what we can do is we can respect each other. We can honor each other's uh, differences and just love each other from the existence that we have. Um, let's see. I am mostly in the now with less fear than in the past and with less fear to the future great Enya and thank you for sharing mm, ooh, wrong button Melanie so what I've been dealing with all the old heavy stuff will become less because I'm willing to go through it it feels like I'm beginning to feel more love and joy yes exactly 
because you're willing to go through it, there's less stored inside of you. That means that the pain will not feel as deep and it will go faster every time also. Also, when you shift perspective to understand it's not really pain, it's just emotions running through your system, the heaviness will also change its colors. Um, Lotte. <laughs> Transformation emotionally challenged, but also now feeling and knowing who I am. And very grateful for the recognition and remembering I felt when I saw you. Thank you, Lottie. And I'm so happy and grateful for feeling, um, yeah, feeling how that you are dealing with life now. And feeling how you are staying stronger and stronger in who you are. It's truly beautiful. And you are such a beautiful spirit. So thank you also for coming on my path. <laughs> Run. I heard all light and darkness come on the light. They say all do we blah blah uh, come inside. Also, the ports from dark energy are open. Lots of dark energy can go through us real, real world. Um, I don't understand what you're writing, but I can feel it. So, <laughs> as the light is rising, the dark is also falling upon us. And we, as I said, is influenced by um, a lot of energies. Not only the good, also the darker energies. But everything is a matter of free will. You know, nothing that is unreal can... Uh, is exist inside of you so they can influence our thought system they can influence the energies around us they can influence us in that form negative energies uh, feelings running through our systems fear in that form but everything is vibrations everything in frequencies and the highest frequency was always win so if you just focus on the love and the freedom within your heart without having fear of of feeling the other emotions, they cannot harm us. The thing is, when, when we are in the belief that something can control us, we lost the game. So we need to know that we are perfectly safe. I have a lot of feelings, a lot of them. Sometimes I'm so angry and I'm so sad <laughs> and I don't even know why. Like, for example, uh, yesterday, I was really angry in the morning or the day before yesterday, I don't remember. Maybe the day before. Yeah, the day before. I was really angry in the morning and I didn't know why. I think it was just something in the air. So what I do is I don't fight it. I just allow it. Uh, I just allow it to run through my system because it's just a feeling. And then after being angry, I felt really sad. So I had to cry and I was really, really sad. And it was like this weird feeling. I couldn't really touch it because it didn't come inside from my inside. It was kind of just flowing through my body. So I couldn't understand where it came from. Instead of having resistance on it, thinking it's not mine, I just allow it. I just just allow it to flow through my body. And coming back to the center of myself, feeling my heart, feeling my love for just existing. And then all the feelings, all the influence um, just ran through my body and are no longer existing inside of me. In that form, when we don't fear the interference and we don't have resistance on it uh, and we still believe and trust our hearts, they are harmless. The, the lower energies, <laughs> the dark forces are harmless. Um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. Bjorn de Frievel. Yes, <laughs> you got it. Mm, how do we let go of our old stuff? Um, Edna, how do we let go of the old stuff? Well, we well, we become represent. We bah, words are beautiful. When we are represented for energies that trigger something inside of ourselves, it normally triggers something which is linked to something old. When we understand where that old comes from, we can see it and we can allow the fully expression of it. We can 
put it into the light, so to speak. So it it is um, one thing is to do it emotionally. Another thing to do is you can write down what happened then. You can do it from your own perspective, shift page. Do it from your mother's perspective, shift page. And do it from the third perspective. So you understand all perspective in order of forgiving the people involved. And then let it go. Uh, if I look into how you are supposed to do it, you are supposed to just feel it. Feel it and allow yourself to let go. You have created this person that you believe that you are. Um, and within that there is some old stuff stuck. When you let go of this stuff, your vibration will literally shift. That means you will become more free and there is a part of you that is afraid of that freedom. And this is one of the reasons why you hold on. So when we have difficulties to let go of old stuff, sometimes it's because there's a part of us that wish to hold on to it. Find out the benefit of holding on to the old. Find out the benefit for you uh, to stay in that part of suffering. And then make a decision. Do you want to shift it? Yes or no? Um, <coughs> Thank you. And Enya? Yeah, PMS every day. Like my trainer, he's every day looking at me. Are you pregnant? <laughs> and I'm like, no. No. <laughs> so, you know, I think when I get pregnant, it's probably going to be Pretty crazy with all those mood swings, but who cares? Mm. Ellen, I love you too. I think this was all the questions for now. Or, oh, there came something. Eve, for me this year was one of the best. Thanks for helping me with Leon's birth. <laughs> Eve, you are so welcome. That for sure was... I experienced uh, for life for me. I've never been so close to a human baby, buddy or pregnant woman ever. So thank you for taking me to that part of the human experience in life. <laughs> Melody, uh, is, there, is the world and energy really becoming more light and love? Yes and no. So this, this is the funny thing about everything always is, right? And everything is love, even the dark is love, even the dark is light. In the perspective of which you talk on planet Earth, the frequency has been rising for quite a while. That means when it rises, the, the, because Earth is duality, a lot of fear has also been put upon us. So when we become more free, the dark side <laughs> wants to trap us more, so we will always feel the duality. Some people will rise a lot and some people will start with war and fear. Is the world and energy becoming lighter and brighter? Yes. And it has been doing this for some years now. Because we as humans have the free, free will and because we have these ego things that's not really able to watch out and because it's, it's easy for people to feel controlled by the media and the mainstream. We are not aware how light and bright the world is. We are simply here now to realize it. When we realize it, um, it will become our reality. But as long as we can't see it, as long as we believe that the world is becoming a darker place, this is the reality of which we are creating. So believe in the love, believe in the light, and then this is our world. Do you think Trump get off the establishment? Get off the is it's the I I need to learn some English words establishment at this moment. You mean if I think that he will get off his throne? Not yet. We are not finished learning from him yet. We not finished learning from the effect that it caused that he is where he is placed at this moment. Shurain, thank you for your unexpected combo experience. <laughs> I love you too and you're so welcome. I enjoyed it. I really 
I did a lot of combo uh, treatments, or I've been looking at it, but I never saw somebody smiling this much while he was puking. <laughs> so thank you. I'm grateful, truly. Uh, Ram, how do you think um, the shift will look like? Body come from inside to outside. Our soul will come more inside us. And our mind can't, don't know what will happen. And let's look at it. So, for some people, they will be more open up. That means that their consciousness level would rise and their body will be shaking because it's not used to have so much light inside of it. The human mind, as we know it, has a hard time dealing with all that consciousness. The human mind. <laughs> is bigger than we think. So if we just allow ourselves to open up without putting focus on wanting to understand everything, but just accept it, let go, just, it's okay. I can't explain that was uh, UFOs flying down, it's okay, you know? So when our mind are in a state of surrendering, even to the part they don't understand, it will be easier for us um, in this time of shifting. Gary, no establishment is the elitist. I'm sorry, Gary, I don't completely understand. Can you maybe um, tell it with different words? <laughs> My world is definitely becoming more like love and reality. Melanie, I'm so grateful and happy to hear that. <laughs> Shaq B, you are amazing too. Uh, what can you tell me about Illuminati? Ha! I love it. Okay, so, Mariella, Illuminati. Illuminated means obliging. It's actually beautiful in, in the isolated form. It just means we see. I always say there is a light and a dark side of Illuminati because Illuminati is just obliging people. And we got those who are here to help the humanity and we got those who are here to control the humanity. Illuminati in the form that we look at it in the in the fear form is people who are sent here, people who are here underlying, controlling some of the matrix that we have going on. A part of the Illuminati is not in Canadian physical forms and is literally just infecting our thought systems. Uh, or dreams. So Illuminati in the form that we fear them is a control system of the matrix. If we look at it out of this dimension, we need duality on planet Earth. So we have the good and the bad side and we have the light and the dark and Illuminati was here to control and make our steps, make, um, make a world function in a certain form. And by doing that, um, they absorb the energy of which is being created. When we break free of this world patterns, the energy go free in a different form. And it will also allow this, the energy on the earth to circulate more freely and more open. Um, Illuminati, as I see it, we can say it's bad, but everything is created from light. Everything have a purpose, everything has a meaning. And if there's one thing I've learned, it is that those we call Illuminati feeds on feelings. They feed on fear, anger, resistance, hate, um, war. So a great thing is, for example, to control us with all our religions, you know. I hate you because you're black. Well, I hate you because you're Muslim. Well, I don't like you because you're Christian. Come on, guys, we are all the same. We are only feeding the bad guys with this. We should just follow our hearts, look each other in the eyes and love. I love everything. I even love Illuminati. Because if I love them, I can't, they can't do anything. They cannot feed on love. They cannot feed on something uh, There's not a vibration only match towards them. And yes, this is why I got the Illuminati right in my heart. <laughs> and let's see. 
anything you can say about 2018 Jethro? Jethro? For you, it will continue the path you always be been walking. You will come closer to yourself. Um, even closer. You will also realize that a part that you thought was you is actually not you. And you will let go of this part. Which is beautiful. It is really a year. And this is for many people. It is a year to fully... Um, I want to say a word, but I can't pronounce it. To fully embrace the who we are. It feels like a year where we are opening more up and uh, a year where we actually are bringing people together where the last year was going much into ourselves. This year it's going into ourselves, but more together. It is the year where the, the, the gap <laughs> between those who are awakened and those who are not is um, it's coming bigger and we can feel this. We will feel this on the planet. Um, yeah. And when I look at the year, I just, I know many people will go through some hard processes, but I just see a lot of love, a lot of excitement, a lot of challenges, but um, we are hitting, <laughs> somebody will say it's not true. But from this perspective, this one, we are heading towards peace. And the road there is acceptance and love. I know this other part over here will say um, a lot of war is going on and we got Trump on the throne. And what about Iraq and, and Syria and all these things, a lot of fears. It's not over yet. No, the wars will not end yet. It will also continue. The controlling part is not over yet. It's a part of it. But if we support this part, if we put our attention to this part in a negative form, if we listen to the media, if we hate the Muslims because of Islam, <laughs> or uh, hate Trump, we feed this energy. Okay? So let's support the souls. Let's look at the people behind it. They're beautiful. It's not their fault that they can't see. They're being controlled their whole life. They don't know better. Let's forgive them. Let's forgive them and love them and understand that they cannot see further than what the perspective can perceive. So over here, <laughs> we are heading towards peace. That means we are finding more peace inside of ourselves. We are heading to becoming more one with the ego or the self that we have. So it's really about upgrading this self-love. It's really about accepting ourselves a hundred percent. It's an ongoing journey and we've been on it for quite a while, but now is the time. Uh... Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yes, and your fear is food. Um. I like Illuminati just because it is beautiful that God created them to expand the universe. But I don't like that they don't like me. <laughs> Kirsten, I, I, I follow you, girl. I know exactly what you mean. And they hate me, literally, but I love them. Uh, Dennis, I have come so far these last two years. Will I find into myself even more the next year? I feel a big stuck the last month. So the truth is that when we start becoming conscious of what we are, who we are. We reach a point where we cannot claim on to what we were any longer without feeling stuck, without feeling that we are not being true to ourselves. So it is your choice if you will come closer to yourself or not. Where you're standing right now, you know that you're still acting out from your old self. You know what you truly are, but you're claiming on. 
So then is what you want to do. Okay guys, I think that was all the questions for now. Um, so someone might ask, why don't you give us more specific of what will happen next year? And when I look at it, for me I see all the different consciousness levels. For me I see all the possible outcomes. Well, I'm shaking. <laughs> um, and we are on different levels. So some people will be in their waking fast, some people will be in the letting go of ego, creating the self fast, other people are ready to step into their true self and truly help each other. Some people will not wake up at all and we will, I don't know, sorry, I'm shaking so much, I've been training slightly much. <laughs> uh, so I am grateful and happy to say that Luckily, it's individual. The thing which is very, very similar for all of us is that development is something we always seek. Love in ourselves, love <laughs> is something we always are gaining for, conscious or unconscious. Mm. So I think this was all I wanted to share with you guys and now tomorrow, the last day of this year, I'm not, I'm not so much into the, okay, let's say that now I'm going to prepare for next year do, 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 with, the, with the new year's uh, promises, but take a look back, look where you were last year, look what you've been through. Take a feeling, see where you stand right now, and no matter where you stand, be proud of yourself, 100%. You are amazing, all of you are amazing, and it doesn't matter how many false flaws you have at all, it's beautiful. The only way that we can become in harmony within ourselves is accepting ourselves 100%. Every side of you. When nothing is suppressed, there's no darkness inside of you. When you suppress something, it becomes like a shadow side. But if you just embrace everything, there is no shadow sides. There's only you. You are love. You are light. We are all one. So, really, let's use this year to learn to get closer to ourselves, to learn to feel our hearts, to learn to love ourselves 100%, allow ourselves to exist. And from here, let's look at the others, everything around us, and not with just mentality, but with love. Look at them, keep looking until you see that shining light in their hearts and know that that is them, nothing else. So let's learn to look beyond borders. Let's learn to look beyond colors, religions, beliefs, and just see each other for what we truly are. We are all God's children. We are all creations, creations from the same source. And we all have our values and our differences here. And that's what makes life so beautiful. Really. So... That being said, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you for everything that you are. Thank you for everything that you bring. Thank you for tuning in, being a part of this existence. Um, we couldn't do it without you. So, happy new year tomorrow. And I love you <laughs> a lot. Really, truly from my heart. And... Um, yeah, let's have a lot of fun. Let's just enjoy it. Even the fucked up things, I did it, I swear it. Even the fucked up things, the crazy moments, let's enjoy it. Let's do it together, okay? So, see you guys, and I can't wait to see you next year. <laughs> doo doo!